Hello, my little Pango Pops. I am TJ Starblood, and welcome back to Adventures with Anxiety by Nikki Case. The other party. Cheers! Ah, that hits the spot. You know, kid, specifically, the spots hit are my left and right amygdala. You remind me of myself when I was younger, back when I was tormented by the animal in my head. I wonder what her animal is. Do you think it's a wolf, too? Or do you think it's a different animal for different people? I'm so grateful I can pay it forward and help you kill the beast the way I killed mine. I don't think it's really dead. Quick question, truth or dare? Dare! That's me. <laughs> that is me. Every time somebody says truth or dare. It's there, because I don't trust truth. Good. Okay, you see that baby blue swimming pool down there? What, down probably like a hundred feet? Yeah. Six floors- d Six floors down? Oh, girl. Jump in! What? <laughs> don't do it. The animal started whining, hasn't it? There's a difference between- Anxiety and not being stupid. Oh no, it's dangerous. Don't do it. That is dangerous. But that's exactly why we need death-defying thrills. Party hard. Carpe diem. Snort a coke off a... Of oh my god, girl, where have you been? <laughs> hey, don't do it. Show that animal we don't give two dicks about its bitching. Jump in. Don't do it. But sometimes fear has a point. Exactly. Sometimes fear has a point. I'm sorry, did you fall for that McMindfulness propaganda that claims feeling bad is good? The people who run this world give the rest of us anxiety and depression. Then make TED Talks to tell us to accept being effed over and embrace that sadistic demon in our heads. She has a tumbler. Kid, I know that you know that animal hurts people like us. It tortures people like us. Again, there's a difference between anxiety and normal fear. Common sense. You know, don't be stupid and jumping off buildings. It's not our friend. It's a rabid beast. It's not rabid. I'm just a little, I'm just a little guard puppy trying to help. Either needs to be tranquilized or have a bullet put in its skull. Otherwise, you're going to let it win. You'll die in the process. No, you're wrong. I'm not going to let it win. Oh, no. No, honey, don't do it. I believe in you, babe. Oh, we're dating. I mean, yay, we're dating, but don't do it. No, 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 no. This chapter has two pos- Oh, no. One is very, very bad. Oh dear. No, 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 no. Eh. Choose wisely. Protect your human. How do I protect my human? Okay, hold on. Human, you could actually die here. This is stupid and self-destructive. These sickos aren't really your friends. This is stupid and self-destructive. My human's not gonna listen to me. I might have believed you if you hadn't tried that a zillion times before. You're the wolf who cried wolf. Harm or loved? We'll go with harm, because this is dangerous. You tried that, too. Human, please. Oh, I'm sorry Big Farmer doesn't approve of my self-medication. Oh, no, she has a Facebook. Oh, she does, right. She has a Facebook. Get off Facebook. <laughs> Look, we all have a way of shutting you up. Some people throw themselves into work. Some people throw themselves into sex, drugs, and refreshing their Facebook feed. Some people go to therapy. Some people throw themselves into other people. You're gonna throw yourself into that swimming pool and die. You're drunk and it's six floors down. 
Dang it, this is the thanks I get? Okay, I messed up. You're drunk and it's six floors down. Even if you land in the water, the surface tension will crack your ribs and give you a concussion at the least. He's right. Eh. Oh no, oh no, oh shit. I saw a Russian guy. Yeah, Russians are built differently, man. Don't do what the Russian does. There's a reason YouTube videos say stuff like, Don't try this at home, kids. Please, don't. Your energy bar is looking awfully low there. I know. If I were you, I'd choose your next words very carefully. Am I done? Am I right? Am I sorry? I'm sorry. What? You're sorry. Sorry for what? I'm sorry I didn't respect you? I was supposed to be your loyal guard dog, but I acted as if you were supposed to obey me. There's a difference between protector and a prison warden, and I crossed the line. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, this was a dumb idea. Oh, thank God. I only did this to mess you up, and well, I messed you up. Let's just call this round a tie. Okay. Tie. Was the other one me jumping off and dying? Oh, come on. After all that animal's done to you, you're just giving up? What's the matter, kid? Are you scared? Yeah, I'm scared. And that's okay. It's okay to be scared. Yay. And we didn't die today. Did they just lock the door? Well, now you guys have to jump into the swimming pool. <laughs> Rip phone. Game auto saved. Back on my stump, eating my bread. With my wolf again. <sighs> so what the hell was the moral of this story? What did we even learn? I was being stupid, my friends were using me, and we almost frickin' died. I don't know they were they weren't using you. They were trying to help. Yeah, not to mention the liver damage. That was the worst case scenario. Yeah, I was right. You would have died, so that wasn't quite the worst case scenario. Not to mention the liver damage. We definitely shaved a few years off our life expectancy. But at least we still have a life expectancy. We survived. Despite everything, we're still here. You seem pretty calm, considering we just had a near-near-death experience. Yeah, you know, we can either go to therapy, or have a near-near-death experience. Well, it makes everything else less scary in comparison. It also got me thinking. If me fighting you sucks because it doesn't protect you, but me fighting you also sucks because it just makes you yell louder, then maybe we shouldn't fight? Maybe we don't have to fight. Yay! <laughs> uh, I'm not a big bad wolf. But I'm not a guard wolf either. You're just a little puppy. I'm a battered shelter dog. Aww. But you're a good dog. We've been through rough stuff, maybe trauma or neglect. That's why I sometimes overreact and go... Like that. But I don't want to be a cowardly dog. I want to protect you. I want to be a good dog. You're a good dog. Courage was a good dog. He was cowardly. Human, will you help tame this wolf? Therapy. I'll try. Okay, healthy relationship with emotions. We need communication, so let's communicate. The next five minutes are going to sound super cheesy, but let's fake it till we make it. Yay! A cheesy ending. Dear Inner Wolf, how are you feeling? Scared, that's its job. Total fears used. Six harmed, two unloved, four bad person. 
What fear do you want to talk about first? You can do the others later. Alright. I'm scared we'll be alone. I'm scared we'll be harmed. I'm scared we'll be harmed. I'm scared we'll be harmed. I want to protect your need for physical safety. But the whole world seems so dangerous. So full of tragedy and evil. I don't know. Enough of me choosing what to say next. What do you say, human? Let's expose ourselves to more danger. Uh, let's protect ourselves. Uh, yeah. You're right, so let's protect ourselves. But, how? I have fangs and claws, but I'm just a metaphor. You can learn self-defense? Yeah, learn Taekwondo, man. That's fun. Martial arts are fun. And good for you. Join a community that protects each other? Improve our general health and personal boundaries? All that, yeah. Maybe, but where do we even start? What if they still don't work? What if we go overboard on safety? Um... What if we go overboard? I mean, the whole reason you ignored my warnings was because I went overboard with safety. Nah, you're right. We would want to stay safe in moderation. Everything in moderation. Everything in moderation? A moderate number of things in moderation. Thank you for making your statements recursively self-consistent. Anything else you want to chat about? Nah, I'm scared we'll be alone. I want to make sure you fulfill that deep human need to belong. But I worry that if anyone ever knew us, the real us, we'd scare them all away. Again, back to you, human. What do you think? I agree, let's work on our social life. I think people like us, let's find out. Um... I'm just gonna say thank you. Thank you. Wait, no arguments or against what we're feeling? Just thank you? Yeah, thank you for showing your concern for my social belonging. You okay? You've never said thank you to me before. Aww. Thank your dog more often. Fuzzy Wuzzy Panic Wolf. Anything else on your heavy heart? I'm just gonna look at what the bad person is. And I want to defend your moral needs that drive to become a better person. But it just feels like deep down we're so fundamentally broken. And don't tell me we're not messed up. We almost jumped off a roof. More thoughts, human? So we're broken, let's fix us, let's accept it, thank you. Let's fix us. Therapy? Slowly build better habits, get our life more in line with what we value. And if needed, we could get professional help. Finally. Thank you. Do that. There's ways to fix us. What if we can't fix it all? What if we fix too much and we can't- We can't afford professional help! <laughs> yeah, you're in like, high school. Doc, I'm anxious that I'm paying $100 an hour just to hear you ask, how does that make you feel? Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? Nah, that's a totally reasonable worry. And it genuinely sucks that mental health care isn't affordable for lots of folks. Yeah, it does. Still, there are some cheap or free options. What, like Craigslist? Support groups, online therapy, student slash nonprofit health centers. Building habits like meditation, sleeping well, chatting regularly with friends, learning new things. Going to a library to borrow workbooks for evidence-based psychotherapies. There's a full list of resources at the end of this game. Well, that fourth wall didn't last long. Some things are more important than narrative convention, such as mental health. He's right. Okay, I think we talked about all our fears. There are only three fears. Exactly three. Convenient. This isn't some game, you know. Building a healthy relationship with your emotions isn't as simple as clicking buttons on a screen. Can we really get along? Can we work together as a team? Yes, you can. Well... 
Excuse me? Oh, it's the girl with the bow in her hair. Would you mind if I sat with you for lunch? Oh, she's got a kitty cat. This is your crush? Why are they sitting alone like a psycho serial killer? Aww, she's got a crush on her. That's cute. I mean, it's okay if not. I just... What? Didn't I see you at the party? Yeah, of course. Come here. Sorry, I need a long time. Of course, come here. Hang on, human. They seem uncomfortable. Uh, no pressure, of course. Just saying, you can sit here if you want to. They're being too friendly! Like Ted Bundy, the serial killer. I uh, love that kitty. Run, 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 run. What is the girl with the bow in her hair? Aw. Huh. That was weird. Wonder what was going on in their head. Anyway, you were saying? I forget. Something about teams and work? Mmm. They say you should make peace with your emotions, as if your emotions are war criminals. But I want us to make more than mere peace. I want us to be allies. I want to be a good guard dog, just like how hunger and thirst are alarms for your physical needs. I want to be the alarm for your psychological needs. Your needs for safety, belonging, goodness. But I suck at my job, so I need you to train me. I'm not always valid or always irrational. I'm just trying my best. So please help me help you. Aww. Though teaching an old dog new tricks will take a while. Maybe years. And sometimes I'll relapse, sometimes I'll slip into my old habits. I'll bark at shadows, I'll scare you with words. I might even show you some intrusive images of... things. I'm sorry. I'm a battered shelter dog. Battered dogs poop on your bed sometimes. They do. You gotta be patient with battered shelter dogs. But if you're patient with me, and just stay and sit with me, maybe you can tame this wolf. Give him your sandwich as a treat. Good dog. Is that it? You're still not productive while eating. We're society parasites. <laughs> All right. Well, that was Adventures with Anxiety by Nikki Case. Uh, that's funny. Good animation. And I really liked it. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave a uh, link in the description. Oh, she's got an elephant. Goodbye, my little pingle pups, and I'll see you all next time.